Do you remember what a parabola is? Previously, we saw that a parabola is a collection of points which are at an equal distance from a fixed point and a fixed line. Let's take this as our fixed point and this as our fixed line. Then the corresponding parabola will look like this. The fixed line is called the directrix of the parabola and the fixed point is called its focus. We also saw that a parabola is symmetric about the line that passes through the focus and is perpendicular to the directrix. It's called the axis of the parabola. And the point where the parabola intersects with this axis is called its vertex. Take a moment to look at this parabola. In this video, let's find the equation of a parabola. For this, first of all, we will have to draw the x-axis and the y-axis. For simplicity, let's take the x-axis along the axis of symmetry of the parabola and the origin O at its vertex. Then we will get the y-axis to be this. Now before moving further, let's name this focus point as F and the directrix as L. Also, let's say the distance between the vertex O and the focus F is A. So A is a positive constant. Now to find the equation of this parabola, let's take a point P on the parabola and let its coordinates be X and Y. Now tell me, what do we know about this point P? Since the point P lies on the parabola, we know that its distance from the focus F is equal to its distance from the directrix L. So if we name this point as D, then we get this. Now to find the equation of a parabola, we will have to just figure out what these distances are. And for this, we can use the distance formula. Here it is. Notice that to apply this distance formula, we need to know the coordinates of points P, F and D. We have taken the coordinates of point P as X and Y, but what about the coordinates of point F and D? Can you find it? Let's first look at point F. We know the distance between origin O and point F is A, so the coordinates of point F will be A and 0. Now let's look at point D. We know that the vertex is equidistant from the focus and the directrix. Since the distance between the vertex and the focus is A, so this distance will also be A. So the equation of the directrix would be x equal to negative A. This tells us that the x-coordinate of point D would be negative A. Also, this point D is at the same distance from x-axis as point P. So the y-coordinate of point D will be the same as the y-coordinate of the point P. So we get the coordinates of the point D as negative A and Y. Now can you find the distance between point P and F and point P and D? We now know the coordinates of point P and point F. So according to the distance formula, this distance would be this. And we also know the coordinates of the point D. So this distance would be equal to this. Now if we simplify this equation, we will get the equation of this parabola. Can you try to simplify it? For this, we first square both the sides of this equation. We will get this. Now take a notice of this term. It is in the identity form of a minus b the whole squared and this term is in the identity form of a plus b the whole squared. If we expand the terms on the left hand side, we get this. And on the right hand side, we get this. Simplifying this further, we get this. So we get that if a point P with the coordinates X and Y is on the parabola, then it will satisfy this equation. Can we conclude from this that this is the equation of the parabola? Wait, we also need to check whether the reverse direction also follows. That is, any point satisfying this equation will be always on the parabola. Can you try to verify this? In the next lesson, we will verify this. We will see that this equation is the equation of this type of a parabola. What do we mean when we say type? 
Notice here that the axis of the parabola is along the x-axis and its vertex is at its origin and it's oriented such that it opens towards the right. So for such a parabola, this will be the equation. Here, A is a positive constant, which is the distance between the focus and the vertex. In the next lesson, we will also see what will be the equation of a parabola with an orientation different from this.